Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have discussed many image feature extraction techniques, right? Histogram of oriented gradient, local binary pattern, and I have uh, explained to you the concept of dominant feature extraction using k-means clustering algorithm, right? Which is one of the most popular unsupervised machine learning algorithm. Then I have uh, shown you the uniformity concept which we can extract using edge detection, right? Now, in this video, I am going to discuss another very important image feature extraction, and that is average color. And it is self-explanatory that how much important this particular feature is, right? In many image classification, by simply observing the average color, we can conclude that, okay, this image is belonging to this color, this class, right? So, what is the code? Very simple. Separate red channel, green channel, blue channel, and take individual mean that pixel value will be giving us average of whole image. As simple as that. PLC clear all close all warning off. I am reading the image using UI get file. Okay, that is user will choose. Every time user no need to change the code for importing the image, it will basically give one pop-up where user can choose the image and take for this particular algorithm. Okay file name, path name, using UI get file I am choosing, okay? Then, if user pressed cancel somehow, then to handle that, this if condition is there. Else part is our actual algorithm. SHOWA, this empty array we are creating to store individual red channel average, green channel average, and blue channel average. Then we are concatenating path name and file name, which will basically, after concatenation, will give us the exact path where my image is stored we are reading that and then basically what we are doing we are just taking or extracting red channel green channel and blue channel separately and then using mean two function we are calculating the average for individual channel simple to remember mean for 1d mean two for 2d here red channel green channel blue channel are basically matrix right so 2d array we can consider then we are concatenating all those or putting all those in that empty array SHOWA, whatever we have created here. All right. Then we are showing that with the uh, message that the average color is this one. Okay. And then we need to show the color also in figure window. So figure window state maximize. So it will automatically maximize the whole figure window. Then subplot 1, 2, 1. That is in the first plot of my figure window I am showing the RGB image with the title input image and in the second plot I am basically creating one box where I will fill that box using that particular average color okay what is average color SHOWA we are writing SHOWA but we need to convert whatever color value we will be giving in the patch it should be in between 0 and 1 so we are basically uh, we can say normalizing by 255 right because you know maximum possible value is 255 right and then giving the title visualization of average color and we are increasing the title font size going keeping to 1.5 so that we can easily visualize that okay let me run this control a evaluate selection okay see new window open here we, we can choose the color according to our requirement the image according to our requirement suppose i am choosing first this simple image okay so see this, if this is my input image, you can clearly understand that the average color is yellowish, which we are getting, right? So you can understand this is very important feature. And the exact pixel value, which you can use for training any machine learning model is this one, okay? Right? Then, let us take next one, right? Suppose I am taking this beautiful image. So for this image, this is the average color, okay? Let me take one more. Suppose this image I am taking, for this image, this is the average color. So you can understand easily what is the difference between dominant color and average color. This is the average color of this image. But suppose we use the same image for dominant color extraction, we can clearly understand dominant color should be this red one because the most uh, of the pixel or majority of the pixel are having this kind of red color, right? I can show you using that code also. See? Dominant color identification, this code I have used earlier. So if I just run control A and evaluate selection, okay. So it will take some time. 
yes see i am selecting this image enter the k value 1 2 3 suppose i am entering 4 only or maybe 5 i can put let us check see what we are getting this is our original image this is clustered one this is dominant color visualization what we can see that 37 percent containing this red reddish color right so see dominant color it is showing this one but for this only average color was kind of brown right see and just if you have seen already my previous video where i have shown you the dominant color extraction code you can see that the dominant color is this one which is basically scaled down by after dividing by 255 you can multiply by 255 and you can get the exact values right and for the same image the average color what we have got as kind of brown type right so this is another very important feature average color okay so you can remember all this okay code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section code no need to remember just remember the concept okay average color dominant color histogram of oriented gradient then uniformity then local binary pattern if you have to classify different texture right all these things all this feature extraction okay will help you to create one good machine learning model because ml model is not only uh, just uh, creating one uh, randomly throwing one algorithm maybe decision tree or svm or k nearest neighbor and uh, high, do hyper parameter tuning right in ml model one of the most important part is extracting the proper feature which are important for our that particular use case right so this is one of the major uh, uh, feature of image which is average color which i wanted to discuss same code i'll be posting in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can go and check there thank you for watching